Welcome back, MBR here, and I'm gonna go over a hon upon a panel. I was just uh, this evening going through a lot of paperwork uh, of different methods and just revising over stuff that I'd learned, and I came across the hon upon a panel and the original prayer, and I thought. Well, I have gave you the prayer, and I think I've even given you the original prayer, and said that if anyone wanted uh, to email me, text me, whatever, and I could pass it on to you. But saying that, I want to give like a short course on how to actually use Hana Pano Pano. And then I'm going to give you the prayer, uh, the original prayer, and with the original prayer you can use it at morning time or night time, uh, but generally you can use it all the time. You could put this, it's not that overly long a prayer, but you could put this down on a wee piece of paper and carry it around with you and say it, and put that meaning into it. Uh, and I do think now when I look back using Hana Pano Pano is a great way of bringing around your feelings and emotions um, and how you can use that to replace something that you want or desire so well Hana Pano Pano it's I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. And a Hanapanapano is a compassion healing, healing of compassion. And I learned it of Dr. Len Yu, I think it's pronounced and Dr. Joe Fatal. And whenever I was learning it, and then all the courses, what I'm gonna teach you is what they were teaching me. But through everything else that I've been saying in videos and everything, it comes down to the whole um, field, the universe, everything connected as one wholeness. So if you get an understanding of everything is just energy and there's a vibration field, as I sit in the seat, it is energy. It is nothing more. It's not a seat. It's a seat to us as we see it physical form, but all it is is energy. If we could see everything as energy, or everything was just energy, you wouldn't see, and taking away the matter, the physical aspect of things, all you would see is energy floating about um, in different forms uh, in that field, connecting to one another. But because there's matter, then we have the world, we have nature, we have ourselves, we have all the aspects as man or woman made. And that makes us have a belief that everything for it to be real has to be matter a physical object but behind that physical object is so much more but we don't look into it so for example what I'm saying is this is the prayer that I'm going to read to you now you be focused on the prayer or if you put something, if you print off something, or write a book, you're all about what them words mean in that book. But you don't think that that book is paper, the paper came from a tree, the tree came from the ground, the earth. You don't look at that whole sequence and how 
this is just a piece of paper with some words on it but it's so much more it has a history of energy that's came to deliver this at one stage this was a tree uh, I know it sounds a lot that it's hard to take a whole lot in um, but as I'm saying it it's transformation like a caterpillar changing to a butterfly like ourselves changing um, to a higher consciousness or just changing in general every day as I'm speaking I'm changing you see a physical body as James or MBR but that is not what I am we are all just energy floating about in space as Dr. Joe Dispenza would say so everything is space in space but then you have the matter to show a physical object but in that physical object is just space. Now how I will explain that to you is if you look through microscope now it's got to be real high tech uh, in neuroscience to do it and you go into a particle like for example myself and you keep looking at me and you go down every little particle until the littlest particle of me of energy of me is there you'll always find there's something more it's continuous um, like space there's never there is no ending if you look for the center there is no center there always is something more it there's nothing right there in the middle and when you go into it and you find out something more and you look for it and you think that you've got everything and this is like in cells in the body so every little cell every particle of your body every piece of matter when you look into it in real depth there's no center to it, it it's never ending it just keeps going and going because all it is is energy and when it's all compact, you get the physical object, which is matter, like the body. So the seat that I'm sitting on has loads of different types of energy too. To who sat on it before I sat on it, who sat on it since it's been a seat, who's created it, all the people that's interacted to make that creation has left energy with it so this seat contains energy from all different types of forces coming from all different areas and now depending on how them forces were working at that time leaves an impact on that seat so if then people were in a negative way of feeling or in a rage then they transform part of that rage to the making of the seat so in the making of the seat there's rage that can transform to another person when they sit on it and that is the energy field moving along now so in these walls whoever built them if there was rage when they were being built there will be rage floating about through the walls of energy and this is an absolutely everything physical object of matter and not just physical it's in the air it's in that field 
that you don't see. And through this Hanapanal panel is changing that vibration like the caterpillar to the butterfly and that's the whole idea of Hanapanapano whatever way the energy is that around us and we, we don't know unless you're really in touch with things and you can sense it um, so wherever you go to be using Hanapanapano what you're doing is clearing away you're clearing that energy any negative energy that was in that way or in your path that you walk so if you're walking by where there was a dispute or something and that deflects on you that can affect you you're not going to sense it because you, you're totally unaware of your senses to begin with uh, because if you weren't then you would be on a higher consciousness uh, I'm not being ignorant when I say that um, it's because of the program it's the way we are designed and we're not designed in that way to be influenced into our higher consciousness and the way the world works it's not designed to let us be aware of that so everything that we go passing by or move through there's always different vibrational fields interacting with us whether we find it or feel it or not and <coughs> as I said the only way that you really do notice it as if you walk into a room and something's been kicked off like a big argument or something and you can find that vibration and that's normally the only way that you do sense it uh, or if there's happiness in the air you'll find it or you'll sense it and just like that that is everywhere you go everything that you see touch feel it's it's in everything it doesn't just disappear it's not just like a house a seat a camera there's so much more to it but we don't think of that we look at it as it is as a physical object of matter and we don't think anything more of it we don't process how or what way that is taking effect in the world because all we're looking for is to be happy and we don't we just see material things as helping us be happy but all it is is a little kick to give us them endorphins to make us feel good for a short period of time and then we go back down slouching feeling unworthy looking for something else to give us another kick something more material new phone oh yes get that then they down again and we're up down up down up down so we're basically running on a path never progressing up and with all that we're taking in it's so easy to be connected to negative feelings because the way the world's going it doesn't show out all the love and affection that there is out there uh, all that we see in news radio everything's like a disaster and that's to give us them heightened moments where we rush to get things we don't see the greatness in the world, like nature, the sound of birds singing in the mornings, eh, water flowing, um, just the wind rustling through trees. We don't see that as beautiful. We just see that as oh, 
there was the rain. Oh, oh stormy out there. I don't want to go out there. You don't look at it as anything good. It's a burden, if anything, that you look at it. And why uh, it's part of nature and you're just part of nature. Um, if you see that nature having a mind and it was looking at you thinking, oh, there's him again. Like, what's he doing walking around here? Like, it's not very nice. So you got to find that connection with nature. Um, and it doesn't have to be finding even a connection with nature. It's just having an understanding that everything's got a vibrational field. Uh, whether good or bad, you can carry good with you and transform everything in a good way down your path. So every time you're going down your path, you can do your hana pana pana. As in, if you're walking into a building, if you're going for an interview, for example, um, you would say on your journey and the whole way to it, and to everyone that's going to be there and imagining it, and when you get there, doing it as well, and from where you're leaving, in your home, and everything in your home, and I mean like in depth, I mean like the chair, the seat, the sofa, the floor, the walls, the doors, the ornaments, the paint, the roof, everything in depth, the cups, the plates, the knives, the forks, the water, the taps, the shower, the bath, the sink, the toilet, the hall, the beds, whatever, every single little thing. If you do Hanapanapano around your home like this, you will clear that vibration of any negative energy that has been in your home, that you've been unaware of. And all you have to do is say, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, and thank you. And when you're saying that, you're not saying it for you. You're saying it for all the negative, or for all the people that's put negative energy into the making of all them things. So you're asking for forgiveness for all them people. And not just all them people, you're asking forgiveness for all the people that was related to them people that made them feel that way. So their parents, their ancestors, and so on, so on. If you can think of it that way. So you're clearing the past vibrations that have been left lingering in everything that's around you. And transforming it into a good vibration by letting the forces know that you're sorry for all the negative that has been put into this. That you're saying that these people did were unaware of the facts and that you're, you were unaware of the facts as well and now you're asking for forgiveness and that you love the forces and with loving them forces that you're asking for that forgiveness and you love them and I love you, I'm sorry, sorry <laughs> I love you, so you're saying that you love the forces you're saying you're sorry for not noticing this energy force uh, and all the forces within everything. For not being aware, for not believing. You're sorry for not having that belief. You're asking for forgiveness for your ignorance and all the other people's ignorance and 
for not having that belief, uh, for not trusting and believing in the fact that there is an energy field and there is an energy and vibration in, in everything and that that is all that anything is when you take away the matter. And you're saying thank you for being aware of bringing about that awareness where you have that understanding now and thank you for changing this vibrational field of everything that surrounds you into a good vibrational field so everything can be great and feel better than it was before and to be thankful and believing in everywhere you go that you can help transform this uh, vibration into a healthy vibration. I think that's enough now where I've given you an understanding that you're asking for forgiveness for everyone that has came in contact with wherever you go and has left a vibrational field. So everywhere you've went, everything that you've touched, and in whatever mood that you were in, you've left that vibration with that thing that you've touched. Not even just things that you've touched, but in that area field, that, that aura that you have and belongs to you, that energy field of your own. that is in that vortex which is your body that expands out to about 8 feet coming from the heart and with everything that's going on in science now in neuroscience this gives a really good understanding of how Hanapano actually did does work uh, because in neuroscience what it's showing is the connection of everything and if you did take away just matter all you would see is or all there would be is just energy space just nothingness and so when we're clear in our past we can be saying these words and also to our feelings thoughts and emotions so when we're feeling negative and or down or sad uh, feeling depressed anxiety I want you to say these words and do it over I mean like this it's, it's not easy to do right uh, you need to be doing it like 24 7 when you know you're not doing it you need to be doing it this needs to be going on in your head 24 7 now in a while when you keep doing it 24 7 what you will find is that it will just automatically come to you I know it's going to be hard at the start to do but if you want to have a good hobby healthy better life than you're having now this is a way to do it and this would bring you good health it is proven with Dr. Len he went to this is like a Hawaiian healing right of compassion and there was this mental institute where there was so many patients now, he went and got their files, and he just read through the files. And each patient that he read through the files, he got an understanding of how they were within themselves. So, say the person was depressed or had anxiety and different things. So, what he would say is... I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me and thank you. 
for that person coming from him and asking for this and saying this as if he because he became a part of this by interacting with it so now that he was a part of it he was asking for this forgiveness for this person and all the history that came along with that so anybody who had influenced in any sort of a way or come into contact with that person who had derived these feelings towards this person to be acting in this kind of a manner or this way and left them psychologically messed up so which left them here in this psychiatric unit so he went through it and he, he did this with every patient uh, with their files never actually seen the patient and they had to shut the institution down because he healed every single one of them he healed them just by these words of compassion and having that understanding of what it was that he was saying because that's a big thing if you have this understanding why you're saying it and what will happen is especially if you're doing it for yourself this is what's going to happen you're going to have past thoughts arise and feelings and emotions and it's going to become very emotional and you just keep going with it when these emotions come up and you're feeling that emotional and you're crying a bit out and you're just going to keep on saying I'm sorry I love you please forgive me and thank you and you just keep going with it and as I say in time when you keep doing this what you're doing when these thoughts are arising and you keep saying it what you're saying is all these thoughts that have been holding you back and making you feel the way you've been feeling that you're asking for the forgiveness of these thoughts and that you're letting them go that they're not belong to you anymore they're in the past and that you're sorry that you didn't believe that they could be just let go and that there's a vibration in the field there and now it's time to let them go and transform them from the caterpillar to the butterfly and then them thoughts will be gone them feelings will be gone them emotions will be gone and is this just a magical story that was told no it's not you can check it out yourself uh, and I've done it myself I haven't done it always and I've been on and off with it but as I've said with myself my job in life what I feel is my job in life is to find all these ways of helping people to overcome their feelings and showing them different ways that they can do it because not just Hanapano is going to work for everyone because they're not going to put in that effort so I want to find different ways where people have an option have a choice sorry to pick different ways that would help them which would suit them which they feel more comfortable with because everyone just doesn't want to do it and most people will just start it and then give up on it but I ask you for like four simple sentences to go around every day saying it in your head is that really hard because once you've created the habit it's just like getting up out of bed and brushing your teeth every day but you don't pass any remarks just like you won't pass any remarks that you're saying in your head don't forget like you've got oh, I can't remember many thousand thoughts you have in your head a day but you're not aware of them 
and this would be the same when you program it into your head into your conscious subconscious mind you won't be aware of it but when you become aware that you're not saying it you can start to say it so to make sure that you are saying it and then you would become unaware of it again but then when you come aware of it again that you're not saying it then you do it again and I mean like 24 7 Um, if you're in a difficult situation right now for example I ask you to go lie down and say them four sentences repeatedly spend a good hour or two saying them like an hour or two to change your life in a different way and I mean like in an hour or two you will find a lot of thoughts will arise from your past and emotions and you'll be able to get them clear in an hour or two which will change you is that worth it for to feel better in your life that's all I ask you'll know if you care enough about yourself and now in all that time if you've got a piece of paper or you can just rewatch this or whatever if you want this prayer I'm going to read it out to you and I just think you can use the four sentences I love you I'm sorry please forgive me and thank you and that's all Dr. Hen Len used to help all them people in that mental institute and close that mental institute down um, and it's quite remarkable it's impressive uh, but that's the power of it the power of you you have that power as well you just have to focus and do it as I say, if you're feeling really bad or any way down, upset, do this. Spend an hour or two going over these words. And you can use this longer prayer then, which is the original. Um, and you can use this in morning and night time. Because at them times, you're coming from Delta. And then you're going to go into alpha state mindset. And when you're in alpha state, you're going to be connecting to the subconscious mind. So everything that you're saying, and because you're going to do it repeatedly, aren't you? Every morning and night, because this will reprogram you. It will bring on a better you. It will clear out the negative the negativity that's within you whether you think you're a negative person or not we all have a certain amount of negativity um, and this will help and this will reprogram that subconscious mind with that belief and it will transform you as a person now This is the prayer. Dear Universe, the super subconscious and all those who care about me in spirit, please locate the origin of my feelings and thoughts off. And here you would put in whatever feelings and thoughts you're thinking of that's worrying or upsetting about so if you've got money problems or issues that you're worried about you would say off the money worries or problems or bills that you have coming in that you can't pay or you feel that you can't pay and that it's got you worrying you would put that in here or is it a dispute with someone or a family member or a friend or is it ill feelings about someone that you fell out with and you never really get over you put that in here 
and then you would say take each and every level layer area and aspect of my being to this origin so you're going to ask to bring your awareness to here Move on. Analyze it and resolve it perfectly with God's truth. Now, God's truth is you're saying everything. That energy field is God. It's the power of God. Setting that connection between everything. Wholeness, oneness. As it says, there's a piece of God in us all. Come through all generations of time and eternity. It's all them people in the past that I was speaking of. The families, members, your parents, your grandparents, their grandparents and their grandparents. All the people that interacted, that made these objects their families, their parents, and so on. Healing every incident and its appendages based on the origin. Now hopefully you understand that. So if they were in a bad fade and other people had influenced that, you're clearing all of that. You're not just clearing one thing, you're clearing every single thing. Please do it according to God's will until I am at the present filled with light and truth. So you're going to be transformed is what you're saying. To keep clearing this until you're transformed. Till you feel good about everything. Until everything's good about you and around you. God's peace and love forgiveness of myself for my incorrect perceptions I'm not going to go on to explain that forgiveness for every person place circumstances and event that has contributed to these feelings and thoughts I am sorry please forgive me Thank you and I love you. And that's the prayer. And I think from what I was saying and how that prayer runs, it should give you a good understanding of what you're doing. Um, hopefully you can put this into practice if you think that you need to change or you feel down or upset or ill or just not the happy you that you should be uh, the happy loving caring and positive feeling that should be in us all um, if this is not you please put this into practice please put it into practice anyway because it can only bring you good it can't bring you any anything but good um, so this is our on a panel panel short program and hopefully that gives you an understanding when you're saying these words to be looking at things in that sense that you're asking for forgiveness for the history of everything I think is the best way to put it not just the present moment even though we're looking at the present but the history has left us in the present moment with a sense of vibration from the past. So you're going to clear that and let it be in the past and not hold on to it. So you can feel good in the moment. 24-7. Recite it to yourself. Religiously. It's not a religion. Um, it's a healing of compassion. 
May peace be with you. Love and joy. Same we are. Thank you for listening.